Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Taurus for the month of February. Now it is a, or from the time you view this uh, this video, these events could be in play. So um, of course it is a general reading. It will not resonate with each and every one of you who are watching. If this doesn't sound like your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And if not, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Actually, I believe sometimes I'm I'm, I'm putting them out uh, twice a week because that's kind of like on a rotation. Okay, so um, let's begin. The heart of the reading, we have the knife and we have the power at the bottom of the deck. We have the eye. We also have this knight here, but I want to begin with these two cards and this one. This is uh, representing the central issue or the situation. And um, what we have here is card of power. Okay, you can see that uh, on the image, something has been spilt. And someone is looking at it. It almost looks like spilt milk. Okay. Um, it is a card of owning your own power standing in your power or taking back your power. It could also be um, that you are thinking of a power play, making a power play, um, or someone else is doing this. Um, someone could, uh, yes, somebody could be trying to, um, somebody else would be doing this power play trying to make you bend to their will. Someone trying to make you do something that you do not really want or that goes against your beliefs or that you feel is wrong. Now it is coming with the knife. So this the knife can speak to intention, someone's intention. You could be um, trying or wondering what is their intention. Uh, there can be conflict uh, with regards to this power play. You may feel a sense of danger with the knife. You could be um, you might feel that uh, what they're doing or trying to do is unjust. You could be thinking of severing this relationship or that somebody may have severed it in a power play. Yeah, and they did it as a power play. It's like to get you to do something that you didn't really want to do, possibly is what I'm picking up here. Now, um, the Knight of Wands would be, um, this could have come at you like that unexpectedly, but then uh, in this deck, the Knight of Wands speaks to knowing what you're fighting for. So let's leave it at that for now. At the root. Oh yeah, wait, I, I would want to do the eye. I, I feel like uh, um, with the eye, you're looking at the details of this. Um, and there's like this sense of foreboding. It could be that you're watching them or they're watching you. Um, okay, so going down here, we have that Eight of Swords energy. And let me tell you that Eight of Swords repeats in, in your reading three times and we move up to the Nine. So there's a lot of swords energy. There's a lot that's going on in the mind. Um, your head could be hurting because of this, from all the thinking, all the worrying, all the anxiety. You may feel uh, trapped or like they're trying to trap you. Um, you don't know what to do. You, there's a decision you have to make, whether you want to sever this or, or just, you know, walk away from it or not. Like, what what path do I take? And it's very emotional for you. 
it could be that there's something you're not seeing. We see that there was a confrontation, okay, and so this has to do with this power play this person was making. So there was um, there was a confrontation, and clearly uh, that left you feeling hurt, either because of what was said, or uh, I'm hearing that possibly what was not said. And that will make sense to someone. And so you're just trying to figure out where this is going. What should you do or what are they going to do? You're not happy uh, with the hand you've been dealt. And this has kind of set you back and kind of shattered your world. Um, you could be uh, withdrawn behind this wall, hiding your pain behind a wall wondering if this is really over. You do not like the hand you've been dealt or the hand that they've dealt you. And you're looking at the details. Yeah, see, something having to do with that confrontation with that Ace of Swords and the Three of Love is moving away from a heartbreaking situation, having to do with a conversation um, or, like I said, something that was said or something that was not said at all because you really desired this person or desired to go there, okay? And this is a card of having uh, the door only being open so much. Um, what you desire is on the other uh, on the other side, but clearly you, did, you don't have all of your information or there's something that was not given to you. Uh, through conversation, which was hurtful to you, whatever this is. And whoever you are, you're going to understand what I just said, because even I'm not understanding it. I'm just going with what they're giving me. Now, what do we have here? Is um, a meeting, a reunion. And I also have a reunion down here. Now, um, so either this, I feel like this is like after the fact. They, they, they do the power play and then there's this meeting. Okay. They're seeking something from you that has made you upset or unhappy. And there could be like a, a sense of foreboding here with this Queen of Cups and the Eye um, about being able to to make this better or to find a resolution with the Six of Swords and the um, and the Knife being here. There's doubts and uncertainties, and it has to do with something that was said perhaps or done or again I, I keep going back to something that wasn't said something came out and I mean it could have come out because it wasn't said if you know what I mean because something might you felt might or should have been said or done that that wasn't which in in effect what wasn't there um, made you stop and think or makes you stop and think. So whatever this was or whatever happened has transformed this relationship is what this is saying because you were together and then it transformed and now with what happened and now there's distance. You see how the story goes. And so there's a lot of fears. Um, we, we, you know, we're in the Nine of Swords energy here. A lot of fears, a lot of anxiety uh, over what to do, what choice to make. So uh, again, 
with regards to this transformation and being able to heal it, it's a really heavy burden. Um, it's like, uh, what am I fighting for here? Um, what is this person's intention? What was their intention by doing this or taking that action? And it's like, it's a really precarious situation. Okay. And it's like, um, no matter how you got into this here, it's going to be very difficult to get out of it is what this Eight of Swords is saying. Everything feels chaotic now. And, and you see that here. Okay. And that Ten of Swords. And on this king's face as he looks at, at his hand. You know. So. Thinking back. Um, remembering something that was hidden from you. There's a deception or you feel there's a deception or that they're being deceptive or that their intentions are not good with that seven of swords. This is the the deception in the making, so to speak. Somebody keeping something hidden from you. So that again could refer back to um, what was not said. Something was not said. I keep getting that. Overall energy, you have into the unknown in the reverse. This is it in the upright. You have it reversed. So um, it talks about um, possibly inexperience or overconfidence uh, could possibly lead you into a dangerous situation for which you're unprepared. Always remember that wisdom comes from experience. Keep an open mind and enter this part of your journey with alert eyes. Do not assume that you know this territory. You may not recognize what is hidden by camouflage. This is not a time for careless adventure. So I feel that there is indeed um, something hidden. I don't, I wouldn't trust this person, whoever they are. So do be careful. You do have a decision to make. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. That's my advice. Don't do it. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it because your intuition might be off a little bit here. Okay. I thank you for watching for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings.